What's up, Taurus? Welcome to your reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus. We're going to take a look at the energy coming into the reading. Influences, recent past, what's on your mind? Why is it all going down? What you'll experience in the near future, how you see yourself, what or who is in your environment coming in that you don't see, your emotions and your outcome. And guess what? We're also going to clarify. All right, let's check it out. All right, coming into the reading, what do we got? Ooh, Ten of Swords in reverse. Recovery, anyone? Closing out a long, painful cycle. It might still kind of be there. Some bitterness, deception, betrayal. A long, long cycle is ending that was quite painful. Uh, recovery. What's influencing that, Taurus? You got the moon. Yeah, somebody may have be betrayed you. There could have been some de deception. It doesn't have to be love. It could be anything. We've got Major Arcana for Cancer there with the moon. Happy full moon, by the way. So... It, yeah, there could have been a secret and it came out and you might still be kind of dealing with this. What's on your mind? The death card. Yeah, but you're putting an end to it. Some sort of ending. Death brings Scorpio energy, but then you rise above and you start again. It's going through a complete transformation after some sort of change, which could have been an ending. What happened in the recent past? Yep, Seven of Swords. Who is messing with Taurus? Because I know a guy who knows a guy. Let me know down in the comments. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somebody was manipulative, deceptive, trying to get away with something, sneaking around, right? Strategizing to win here. But, you know, that Seven of Swords always gets caught. What's the situation, Tor Taurus? Why is it all happening? Three of Wands. So now, because of all this, you're reflecting. You're looking to see what else is out there. What can I manifest? I'm pretty sure I know the direction. Now i got to just wait for it to come in. Fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. There could have been a third energy involved. Again, it doesn't have to be cheating. For some of you, it may have been. Coming into the near future, you'll experience the Five of Swords. Look who's back. It's this Seven of Swords mf -er. So now we've got a Five coming into the near future. That can be challenges. Five of Swords, again, I'm going to win at all cost. Somebody's like seeking revenge. The energy is very vengeful, manipulative, deceptive. Taurus, how do you see yourself? What are y'all up to? King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. You may have fire in your chart. This is, but the King of Wands is very confident, right? Whether you're male or female, passionate, takes action, gets it done. So it feels like if you haven't already, you're about to just shake this off. Whomever's brought that deceit your way, you're feeling confident to move forward. You've also got a new passion with that Three of Wands and you're, and you're kind of figuring it out and you're just kind of waiting for it to happen. What's in your environment coming in? You've got the Hierophant. Major cut for Taurus. So yes, this does represent, there you are, this does represent a long-term relationship, commitment, something quite traditional. Some of you got fooled by somebody who was married or already in a relationship. It's also a very spiritual card. It's your guides, right? It's guidance, it's education. So it's, you know, teaching others the way. But, you know, that Hierophant is quote-unquote what we deem as the norm. Uh, but again, in relationships, it could be commitment or a marriage. What's up in your feels? Knight of Cups. This is in your emotions. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So the Knights are travelers. They're coming. They're going. The Knight of Cups wants new love, wants to you know offer that emotion. But some of you may want an apology from someone in your life as well. What's the outcome, Taurus? What do we got? Nine of Swords. Wow. You need to watch the Virgo reading. They had the exact same card in the outcome. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that Knight of Swords is worry. It's like, you know what? I'm not really sleeping well at night. I need some hot decaf tea and a salt bath. This is worries and fear and anxiety. Why? Because it's the Three of Wands. Again, some of you may found out that there's an energy around you who's just up to no good. Because that Three of Wands is here, right? In the foundation. That's why it's all happening. That Three of Wands could be somebody's looking out to see what else is out there, right? networking in some way. Now, for those of you outside of like love and relationships, feels like something's coming around. You're a little bit worried. You're trying to pick a direction here. There's been worry with the moon here and with that 10 of swords in reverse, again, ending something and getting ready to begin something new, whether that's a job, a friendship, a relationship, something like that. You're still kind of in recovery mode because it does feel like there are a lot of secrets and manipulative energy, but you're ending it. Death card. I like it. It's like you're accepting whatever, you know, needs to change and you need to move on in a new, in a new direction. 
You're embracing it, Taurus. All right, let's see what this is. Coming in, we've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. What's this about? And the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I mean, it was supposed to happen. Major Arcana, this is the universe moving that wheel in your best interest because it's in the upright. Now, you can go along, hop on, or it'll drag you. This is supposed to, this was th something that was worrying you, bringing anxiety, maybe some deception around this was supposed to end because the wheel of fortune is here and the universe is just going to throw it in your lap and they want you to embrace this change. All right. What's this moon? This is what's influencing why the moon cancerian energy and the lovers made your kind of for Gemini choices and decisions. You do have a choice. You can stay and kind of just wait for something to come in, or you can make that change, let things end, die out, and then go through that change and transformation. It's a choice. It's a decision. That may be your challenge, right? Because something faded has happened here, and you're just trying to take that tenth sword out. Relying on your intuition. Now, with the moon and the lovers, can that be deceit? Sure, definitely, right? With others, even a partnership at work. What happened here in the recent past? You got the seven of swords. Who's this MF or judgment? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. There was a decision to be made about that seven of swords. Some of you are strategizing or planning something within your job or career and you're just keeping it to yourself. Nothing wrong with that. Why is judgment here in the past? Taking stock of a situation. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It just feels like something died suddenly. Do you know what I mean? Like a relationship, a friendship, something like that. It just was not moving. It's not even standing still. There's your earth energy, Taurus. It's actually moving backwards. Too slow. Also, too, it feels like somebody promised you some sort of value or stability, and they never went through with that promise. And I think with judgment on that seven of swords, this is you taking a hard look at a situation. It doesn't have to be, you know, second chances. Judgment is like, all right, I'm taking stock and I'm going to move forward. What's on your mind, Taurus? You got the death card with the three of swords. Yeah, you're ending something. Somebody betrayed you. Three of swords, separation, heartache. It hurt too. Whatever this betrayal is, it doesn't feel good. But on your mind is like, all right, that's done. That's over. I'm not taking it back. You know, it's time to move forward in a new direction and, and change. Some of you are really contemplating, you know, changes that you want to make within yourself. It's all happening because of the three of wands. Why? And the emperor bossing up. And I got that because you see yourself as the king of wands. This is confident. This is overcoming obstacles. Can't be a little controlling my way or the highway. You know, but hey, you're talking to an Aries moon here. It's fine. But, you know, the emperor is all about control, overcoming those obstacles. He requires stability. And with that three of wands and the emperor, some of you are about to really boss up at work too. Like you're going to start assuming a lot more responsibility. Um, tell me more about the emperor for Taurus. Four of cups, dissatisfaction, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, not happy with an offer that you've that's been dangled in front of you and you're requiring order and you're your boss. I mean, that's what the emperor does. And with that Four of Cups, again, maybe having to reject someone. Maybe they were already married or something like that. Coming into the near future, Five of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. There's your Earth again, Taurus. Putting in that hard work and effort, right? For work, it's like going to work, doing what you're supposed to do, doing it on the daily, right? Really trying to achieve something. And for work and money, that Five of Swords is y'all standing up for yourselves, taking back your power, after some sort of deceit, that cycle's over. You're the third swordsman now. And that Eight of Pentacles says, I'm going to do it. I'm working on this. Eight of Pentacles, look at that. King of Wands. Some of you have a Leo Sag Aries coming into your life, or you already have them in your life. You might meet somebody at work too. I do feel like a lot of you though are kind of either going through a separation, a breakup, or you're disappointed so you might move a little slowly with that King of Wands. How do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? Somebody at work also admires the job you do. They're going to tell you so. This is King of Wands. And the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be a fire sign that disappointed you. You might be kind of reliving the past. Because remember, we said coming in with that Ten of Swords in reverse, your recovery mode. You have some regrets and disappointment. But you're still going to take action. You're not going to lay in bed and cry. What's in your environment coming in? Well, it's you. 
you got the Hierophant. What's this Hierophant? And Justice, sign of Libra. Also can be contracts within marriage. Be careful of somebody at work, right? Somebody could be married and they come on to you and it leaves you restless. Some of you, okay, some of you know someone or you have a friend or hell, in these day and times, even a family member, and they're coming on to you. And you're like, shit, why does that have to be happening to me? You might be attracted to this person. I feel like somebody is not available and they're tempting you. They're coming on to you. Scales will be balanced. You have somebody that's going to come in and give you really good advice with that hair font as well to do the right thing. You know what I mean? But don't be surprised if somebody's kind of after you who shouldn't be after you. What's in your feels? Knight of Cups? With the five of pentacles, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So somebody has already ridden in or they will ride in. Because remember, the knights are travelers. They're coming. They're going. Somebody's bringing you a love offer they already have. I think you're going to give this person the cold shoulder, five of pentacles. Because you, you know it's not right. Like there's something here that's like taboo. And you're like, oh shit, I feel guilty for even being attracted to somebody here. But you're, you're not doing it. You're not going to do it. You're going to put up your walls with that emperor, that four of cups says, nope, not really what I want in that cup. Let me see what else is out there. Um, some of you, of course, like a lot of people are struggling financially right now and you need an offer from that cup, something that will you know, tide you over, offering your services, doing a little bit of extra work, maybe taking more hours, something that will get you out of that five of pentacles. Uh, but again, you're also giving somebody the cold shoulder. Five of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. Somebody may have tried to make you an option, Taurus. And I mean, Taurus does not stand for that BS. This is also opening up your options. Well, I'm kind of struggling. This King of Wands will come in and say, hey, good job. Maybe you can do this, this, or this. You have a King of Wands energy as far as work and money in your life who's going to um, offer you advice. Because the King of Wands is quite, you know, passionate about what he or she does, very driven, um, very charismatic. Um, and so again, you're trying to think of ways that, you know, you could pay the damn bills. What's the seven of cups and the eight of wands? Progress, change, forward movement. Yes, communication. So Leo, Sag, Aries, I do see you guys having a love connection here. Somebody's going to you know reach out. There's some communication that goes back and forth. Again, I feel like you don't want to go there for some reason. You may even tell them that. Others of you are manifesting with that eight of wands to open up your options and bring more financial stability, whether that's a side hustle, a second job, something like that. You've got some worry here. We've got the nine of swords, Taurus, as your outcome. Why is the nine of swords Taurus's outcome? Tell us and tell us now. Nine of swords, six of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Why can't things just go back to the way they were, says Taurus with the six of cups. Some of you just dated somebody like once or twice or something like that. And they were getting like this player vibe from this person. Yeah, you're going to hear from them. But all they do is bring you worry and, and, you know, anxiety. Can't sleep at night. You're tossing and turning. You need to take a salt bath if that's you, Taurus. It will relax you. I promise. But yeah, the, the nine of swords with the six of cups also, um, Again, some of you have a friend because the six of cups can be a friend or a family member and they're dating or married to somebody and that person is like hitting you up. And again, for some of you, this is even at work. What's the six of cups in your outcome and the hanged man, Pisces energy. See, I told you, you're going to put somebody at a stalemate. There's stagnant energy with that hanged man because you see things in a, in a different perspective. It's like you're looking ahead into the future. You're like, oh, hell no, I'm not going towards that. Could it be a friend? Yeah, it could be a friend too that you hear from. Maybe you haven't heard from them in a while. But you seem very focused, very busy in other areas. This person probably wronged you in some way. There's still that emotional connection to this person. There's still that beautiful kind of soulmate energy. But mm, there's something about it. You might even wait until you um, contact somebody here with that hanged man. Yeah, Six of Swords. Call the water Uber. I'm out, says Taurus. Six of Swords. You're getting in that boat. You need a resolution. 
the six of swords says you can move forward. You can move on to calmer waters. You don't need to deal with that anxiety. And I think for, um, for y'all financially, that hanged man with the six of swords is gaining a new perspective on something. It's seeing something in a new light after kind of taking a pause, which will get you out of any type of you know, lack of resolution when it comes to finances. It's like, aha, you have this like aha moment. There's a resolution here that will kind of get you through this with the help, I think, of a king of wands. Tell me more, six of swords. And again, if some of y'all have like somebody at work or somebody that's just giving you the icks, you're like, nope, you're moving on. What's the six of swords? And the page of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So there's there's that communication. Somebody's around you. Could be a fire sign. He's kind of young at heart. He's an explorer. He's also bringing in some sort of good news. What's this good news? Lots of communication. Ooh, the good news is the devil. Okay, Satan, not today. Not today, Satan. Capricorn energy. Why the devil? And the nine of wands. Some of y'all have just been through it in love, going through that healing process. And then you have somebody that's like trying to hit you up online or messaging you or, or at work or something like that. And you're like, oh, hell no, this is toxic. You're really guarded. You're, you're protecting your energy against someone here. Doesn't have to be love. It could be anybody. But you're like, I need to just take a rest. But it's kind of stranger danger here. It's like, ah, what do you want? Because you feel like they have that toxic energy around them, that devil energy. So I see Taurus in the outcome, yeah, a little bit of worry here around somebody, a little bit of anxiety, a friend, a family member. Maybe you have just completely healed. You're feeling much better. And then somebody reaches out to you and spins you into that place again with that communication of the page of wands, it would be very much like, what are you wearing, Taurus? I bet you look really hot, page of wands. And you're like, take that devil shit and get out of here. I've had enough, nine of wands. I'm protecting my energy. Now, some of you are gonna find something creative, again, that will help you with your financial stability. And you're gonna be like tied to it. Like you're gonna love it. You're gonna be passionate about it. You're not giving up, nine of wands. And with that devil energy, that can be, you know, obsessively working towards something. A little bit of a workaholic, right? But you're finding something here. You're like, that's the answer. I've been through it, but, you know, I'm going to persevere and keep moving. And it's all about this three of wands, again, and the emperor. Ships coming in, picking a direction, waiting for it to all manifest. Because you're taking, I think you're taking on that emperor energy, which is boss bitch, or boss man. And, you know, it's like, listen, I got boundaries and I'm setting up those boundaries because I'm moving in a, in a new direction that will lead to some sort of, you know, prosperity. You're going to have to work your ass off for it with that devil energy. But that's what I've got. Hey, like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below. Leave them. Leave those comments. And um, hey, as always, thank you for all of your support. If you feel like contributing to my channel and my business to keep this thing moving, all contributions are welcomed. And for those of you who have done so, thank you so much. Um, I will go ahead and put my link below where you can donate to the channel. And uh, just thank you for all of your beautiful love and support throughout the years. It has been a hot minute. I have been on YouTube since 2018. I can't believe it. I'm going to keep going, and with your support, we'll make it happen. All right, Taurus, I love you guys hard. Love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.